Oils. Well, here's our uh, brand new crock pot that I got for my birthday. Kind of a strange gift, but I mean it's easier than doing other things, I guess. Uh, let's see here. Let's see here. Uh, yeah, you already ground the herbs. You got some rice measured out. Just gonna be using some ordinary broccoli, cauliflower, orange and yellow carrots here. Um, here's some peas. You know, corn. A little bit of cheese and our turkey, which has been seasoned, but just regular seasoning, nothing special. Here's the box that it came in, in case you're interested. Six quart capacity, easy cook meals, simple manual controls, no watching needed. That's it. It's pretty much that simple. Uh, not really anything too complex to it. Okay, let's add our ingredients, our corn. There we go. I put this double the amount of uh, four cups of rice and then eight cups of water. And I figure like the chunks of vegetables here have water, so it'll be about right. I assume, yeah. The turkey has some water. Really water. Jeez, I'm gonna break your hands off. Totally. That that mess looks delicious. Doesn't it? I mean, it's just sitting in there, but it wow, it's already pretty really yummy. Good. We'll add some peas. Yeah, yeah, peas, peas. Yeah, there we go. Oh yeah. Peas. And then we add some mm. Parmesan. Some parm. I love the parmesan. We'll add some more cheese towards the end, but for now, then we gotta add the oibs. Oh yeah. All those ground herbs. Yep. All 97. Not really. They're the secret flavor, all 97. I put some Melissa in this one. We'll see how that tastes. <clears throat> sweet, sweet Melissa. Oh, Melissa, the way you ate that licorice whip made me oh. want to go with you in skinny dip. Oh, Melissa, this right. song's for you. I don't know who you are. Let's mix it all around. Mm, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I like it. Mm -hmm. mm, you dipped it in there. Yeah, that's pretty exciting. And then we'll just uh, float our turkey on top in two chunks. Turkey turkey. Yep. That's a turkey burger that I uh, mashed up by hand, ground real good with a bunch of herbs and things. There we go. Perfect. And then we turn it on low and see what happens. That's about it. Okay. That's easy, mate. That's how you make easy food. I mean, what? They used to be two hundred dollars. Now they're twenty. Look at the color. It's like communist blood. It's the same color as the stupid KitchenAid mixer that's also from like the twenties that they've never updated. It's incredibly dangerous. It's worrying in there. Kids can rip their arms off. Communist. So uh, they finally lowered their prices because they're all dead. You know how they are. You want me to plug it in? Sure. Spinning hydro kick hydrates you. Let's see, where's the lid? I don't know. <laughs> in the kitchen and on the counter in there. Hello. 
All right, there's the lid. Is this entertaining? Have I spent too long faffing about? You never know, maybe there's some factory chemical residue, you know? And I've already had enough accidental exposure to that in my life. <laughs> yeah, I uh, was uh, born in uh, Utah, Benjamin, and that's the uh, dumping uh, swamp ground for all of the audio man auto manufacturing of Salt Lake. Which they opened briefly and then closed immediately. Yep, and pretended they never opened it, even as everyone flooded in there and worked there for five years. Never happened, though. Those steel mills, they're just mysteriously there for no reason. <laughs> communists. Never trust the communists. I'm made out of their chemicals now. That's how I was born and raised. As they rot away, because they can't pause time forever on their decaying sugar courses. Sugar bones. This palm olive, it like is way more effective. You gotta clean things way longer after you put it on. Like it just keeps sudsing and eating and everything. Powerful enough. One day to the next. Twice as effective soap? Yeah, the properties of it change finally. That's nice. Very functional now. Alright, there kind of loose, whatever, it's fine. I guess just to let some steam out. Yeah, yeah, exactly, so it doesn't build up yet. Wow, that looks tasty. Yeah, it should be good in like three hours.